perhaps it's interesting to show the progress or not progress in my uh, setup for a TRF radio, especially for long wave. That was my first setup, and when it did not did not succeed very uh, easily in the past, I my idea was well, let's also uh, connect a medium wave coil between 700 kilo cycles and approximately 1.7 mega cycles. <laughs> So that I could also use this radio on medium wave and also on short wave. And I have already told much about it. Here is the short wave coil. Uh, very bad selectivity. Anyway, of course, it's always interesting when you listen to radio stations that. Um, suddenly pop up out of nothing you can hear it the the message or the music and then fade away into the very very background anyway but for medium wave this is the ideal radio receiver trf radio receiver and i made another unit and that's visible here uh, I did a few experiments and when you follow have followed my channel you could see that this coil of 3.9 milli henry worked very good as an um, antenna coil so here so I tried to mimic that 3.9 milli henry coil and that was successful I um, uh, connected it to my test oscillator, found a frequency where it resonated, where it was on resonance, and also when I switched the test oscillator to another setting, I also found the harmonic. So there were two, say, fixed points where I could determine where that coil, why that coil worked so good, and how I could uh, reproduce it in a more or less classical way. And that's done here. 300 windings, a pair on a paper tube of one centimeter. And inside there is a ferrite rod. The di diameter of that ferrite rod is 0 0.8 centimeters. And now I can tune in um, this reception antenna coil to the frequency on long wave that I need. Uh, the second problem was <coughs> that there was an enormous rattle and I could hear that rattle uh, when I received the French radio station and um, uh, <coughs> regarding the BBC on long wave the complete radio message drowned in the noise and the rattle. So this is a kind of setup during a certain time. Perhaps it will change uh, within a, a week or two weeks or so. But anyway, I have already talked about a coil that I use now. I found the right inductance and I've now used a field effect transistor by purpose to sharpen up the radio reception on that long wave. The field effect transistor has an endless uh, impedance on its gate, say a very tiny capacitance here, and it amplifies, so you can set the amplification here, so that you can connect a coil to the gate and then get all the good properties out of that coil. Well, more or less all to tell. Small demonstration, I hope that it will work. Now connected here, the input filter, and that's very important to tell. This is a kind of filter that in my case uh, could be that it doesn't work, uh, always work, but in my case removes the rattle out of the long wave radio reception and that's here 
So here the length of the coax, all plays a role, approximately 4 meters, 10 meters, single wire antenna. Here is a tuned circuit and I found that this is 3.9 milli Henry and with that tuning capacitor this kind of antenna coil, antenna filter works in that range, in a long wave range and I found when I connected here a 30 picofarad capacitor from this point to ground that the rattle was removed for its biggest part, say 80% of the rattle was removed. So that's the input filter and the tuning of that capacitor here, 0 to 50 picofarad also plays an important role in removing the rattle. And perhaps an idea you could change this uh, capacitor to, to ground somewhat anyway. Say 40 picofarad. Never higher than 100 picofarad. That will surely not work. Anyway, so a small demonstration demo. This is the French radio station on long wave. I, by the way, also made uh, an audio filter, and that was in fact very simple. A uh, uh, capacitor of 22 nanofarad somewhere in the signal lead to ground. You can do that via a switch. Uh, of course, all the high frequencies are lost in such a case. Anyway, uh, well. I think this is quite acceptable compared to the first uh, radio reception. Thanks to Rob, who in invited me to use the coax cable input, and of course he's completely right. And I know that, of course, but I always search for the most simple um, setups because my circuits are on YouTube and I want that uh, everyone can make such a radio with not too much complications, etc. etc. Anyway, let's, tu let's tune the antenna call and listen. So, there is a certain position of that ferrite rod where the radio reception of this French radio station long wave is at its best. And of course, that's a combination of the coil and the tuning capacitor that also plays a role. But that also means when you when it's possible to change the inductance somewhat, you can shift the frequency band um, regarding the position of the tuning capacitor and then I mean where it receives. Say this is at its end um, 60 picofarad in combination with a certain inductance of the long wave radio coil, long wave radio antenna coil, and here it could be that it is a hundred picofarad. Sorry, it's reversed, but anyway, it's about the principle in physical terms. So the uh, inductance goes from ah, sorry, the capacitance goes from a high value, <coughs> sorry, 470 picofarad to say 150 picofarad here and 60 picofarad here. And that means that um, the tuning is done to a certain frequency combined with the resonance frequency, with the inductance of the coil, not the resonance frequency, but because the resonance frequency is a combination of the inductance and the capacitance 
inductance here, capacitance here. Uh, well, uh, it means that you can, by uh, taking the ferrite rod out more and less, you can tune to a certain radio station and you can also uh, tune to a radio station with the help of the parallel capacitor because it's a parallel tank circuit. Anyway, let's try to find the radio station again. This is by the way the BBC, so not that French radio station. And when I push the ferrite rod out, the inductance goes up. So to get to the same radio station, uh, I have to use a smaller tuning, a smaller value of the tuning capacitor. So now I cannot receive any longer that French radio station, but um, I have, I need now an, a smaller parallel capacitor to pick up that French radio station. So here it is again. Let's try to receive the BBC. Yesterday, by the way, the BBC radio station was drowned in a kind of rattle noise. I don't know where it comes from. I'm living in, say, a village area. Uh, and there can be, and of course, in a town area, there could be many, many disturbances, uh, especially to receive radio stations on long wave. For instance, baby phones that work via the mains supply, say in this case uh, tru three, 230 volts, 50 hertz, all kinds of uh, disturbing signals. But anyway, let's listen again. This is again at French radio station. Let's try to get to the BBC on long wave. And in general, the best combination to get a sharp reception is a high inductance and a relatively low parallel capacitance. So when the coil factor here is high and the capacitive factor here is low, you get a much more sharper peak when you will try to receive a radio station, say on frequency X. When the, capaci the capacitance is, uh, when the inductance is low and the capacitance is high, you get a bigger, broader frequency band. So less selectivity. Anyway, one of the radio principles. So I think uh, again the BBC drowns in the noise uh, one hour ago or one and a half hour ago I could receive it properly it drowns in the noise again I don't know where all these So uh, you can hear it, you can hear the message, but it drowns slowly uh, during the evening when it gets dark and when we get to uh, 8 hours, 9 hours, 10 or 12 hours, it slowly drowns in the noise. And the French radio stations, station, that's only a few kilocycles 
um, wider or smaller uh, from the BBC signal stays more or less constant anyway. Could have all kinds of reasons. Tune now, my camera runs out, so suddenly, suddenly the video will stop anyway. And you can remove the rattle by tuning this capacitor. So, finally, the schematic again. Thanks for watching.